Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your June 2018 reading. Um, I hope that all of my Taurus is having a really good, um, or had a really good birthday. Uh, moving into Gemini season, right? Okay. Um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Taurus. Um, take advantage of the $15 three question reading over at my website the information is below in the description box we'll start with a five card advice spread the first card is you right where you are the second card is are you on your correct path the third card is your main obstacle The fourth card is what's helping you. And the fifth card is how can progress be made. All right. Fifth card didn't want to come out. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay. Some of you are moving, emotionally checking out of a situation, job related career, relationship, romantic relationship, friendship. There's a lot of unknown that people from the outside looking in, they don't know the truth. It looks like you're walking away from a situation that's upright and positive, but no one really knows the truth except for you, Taurus. Um, okay, the first card, you, right where you are, the will. The will of fortune nice you're letting things happen naturally and, and, and destiny is taking its course here and you're not forcing anything the will is turning if you put good out goods coming back if you haven't then you know that too you're just waiting for things to come full circle are you on your correct path we have the hermit. Some of you are going within. Some of you could be dealing with the Virgo. Or you're going within and trying to think. You're trying to move forward by looking backwards. Looking at past experience. Looking how you, you reacted, interacted. Trying to make the best decision as possible. Maybe with the Virgo. Having spiritual awakening and awareness too of yourself. Reflecting on yourself. Um, coming out of this, this spiritual journey anew. So, so that's where you are on the spiritual journey. What is the main obstacle? Eight of Swords. Some of you are feeling trapped to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you may have even been jailed or know someone who's jailed, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be that sign. Um, your thoughts just go back to a certain situation, a certain person could be an air sign. And what's helping you is the five of pentacles. You may have subtracted yourself from a situation or you may have cut someone else out. You may have shut the door emotionally, mentally, financially on a certain situation or certain someone. How can progress be made? The two of cups. I feel like this is getting back in love with yourself. Or getting the spark back, the love back between you and someone else. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If not, it could be any sign. But how can progress be made? It could be made by understanding that you're together for a reason. That you want the relationship to be successful. Whether this is in a romantic relationship or business. Um. What is the five of pentacles? What is the five of pentacles? 
What is the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, Prince of Sword. Um, it could be an air sign. An air sign is confrontational. You might have just cut off communication. Um, shut them out because uh, you, you need to figure out what's going on for yourself. Or there's a lot of arguing. Or they shut you out. Who's the Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups? The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Typically Scorpio, could be Pisces. And then the Princess of Cups, Page of Cups. Uh, yeah, what's going to help you is to get back in love, back in, in, a, in a place of receiving and giving love. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Six of Swords. Nine of Swords. Wow. Two of Swords. Lots of mental energy. In this situation, you've been through a lot. You know, um, this person or this situation has taken you on a roller coaster mentally and possibly emotionally and you have to make a decision you're dealing with a Libra someone you have to make a decision about if you even want to get back into it what's the hermit card okay. six of swords yeah you just removed yourself from chaos and drama Arguing and fighting, not seeing eye to eye. It's the will. Yeah, the tower. Something happened unexpectedly, and it just it shook the foundation. Then there, then there was separation. Some information might have come out about anything about uh, infidelity about. money in there okay about another person being involved in the situation and and you walked away and now you're contemplating going back you're trying to heal from the situation you're trying to some of you are praying about the situation should you stay in it should you go should you move away from it it seems like a love situation for some of you. Some of you dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll do we'll do a quick spread. Um, it's called "Do This, Don't Do This." Okay, and there's four cards. It's um, I'll pull four cards. The first card will be what the situation deals with. The second card will be what not to do. Third will be what to do. The fourth will be what it leads to. Okay, what the situation deals with. Now, these readings don't resonate with everyone. Please spare me and everyone getting in the comments and say, stating, this doesn't resonate with me. Okay. No one cares. Have a good day. Just spare yourself. Go to another reader. Go to your moon or rising sign. Uh, go away though. Like no one wants to hear that. Like it's you've just wasted your time. No, I'm not gonna respond to you. No one else is gonna respond to you. Just you know, keep going. All right. It. A lot of times I watch readers, right? And something might not res uh, resonate with me. They may say something that's completely off the wall, crazy, whatever. And I 
have and then sometimes I'll say oh I want to I want to you know write a comment but then I have to ask myself like what does that do for you know for that reader for the greater good for my energy like me saying something stupid or negative what does that what does that do you know like so it's a waste of time you know if it's not constructive leave it you know leave it to you say it to yourself i do it all the time um so yeah just it's getting to a point where i just want to close the comments down but then i have so many uh wonderful followers who who post at the bottom of the deck the empress card who post really good comments that help the collective you know, you never know if you post about your situation and then there's some other Taurus going through the exact same situation. And it's like, wow. It gives you a sense of whatever. Relief. Um, I don't know. You know, whatever. So, anyway, moving forward. What the situation deals with. The Eight of Swords. Wow. You guys are getting some of the same cards. Well, you are getting the same cards. Some of you are just feeling mentally bogged down and trapped. You don't see a way out of this whatever the situation is um could be with an air sign gemini libra aquarius um keep thinking of them too keep thinking of a situation involving them don't do this the death card so the death card is about endings and beginnings transformation Completely transforming a situation. I have to pull a card on that one. Um, don't do this. Don't 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 end the situation. What is the death card? Can you further clarify the death card, Lord God? Thank you for the messages. For the death card. Further clarify the death card. Six of Swords. Okay. Don't completely put an ending to the situation this can sometimes be sometimes temporarily walking away with the six of swords you just want to walk away from the five of swords and that's the the heavy arguing um the same really hurtful things and digging deep with your words um so you might just want to temporarily walk away um create some peace some serenity for yourself firstly and then um the situation okay do this eight of pentacles wow work on yourself work on your craft work on um uh, exercise um work on gaining more money work on being better at whatever it is you do learn go back to school this is putting work in on yourself okay so do that and that'll occupy your time too um if you're dealing with a, a very tough situation with the eight of swords here okay four fourth card um what this leads to the king of wands some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, a three of wands and a nine of wands. Okay, that's what fell just fell out. Some of you are waiting for a fire sign, waiting for con contact. You've been through a lot with this fire sign. Some of you are just trying to even figure out if you want to jump back in it. But to occupy your time and your thoughts. Uh, it didn't have to be a fire sign either. It could be sun, moon, or rising, or someone who takes on that fire energy. Um, also, for some of you, it's work on yourself so that you could be the entrepreneur, the um, the innovative person that you need to be, uh, so you can put behind an old way of doing something because you've been through a lot, a lot of change and up and down, and doing that too. Or it's for some of you, it's just really waiting for a fire sign person. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Waiting for communication. Um, and in doing that, occupy your time. You are the empress. You can create the environment, the life that you want. Do know that. 
okay and then the seven of swords here devise a plan of action someone else is doing that around you too they're like being very strategic with how they move or how they do things it's seven six and eight of sword can be dealing with an air sign who it just it's just hectic dealing with them waiting for a fire sign could be dealing with an air sign who may not be as honest as they should be let's do we're at 15 minutes okay let's do three butterfly oracle cards thank you for the additional advice for Taurus true accurate messages for Taurus bottom of the deck forgiveness i can see that someone um put you in a space where you you uh could have been in a third party situation they put you in a in a place where you had to separate yourself um and and you either need to ask for forgiveness or or you need to grant forgiveness to someone else self-employment nice and the king of wands came out new exercise program eight of pentacles and hobbies definitely goes hand in hand with self-employment for some of you it could be monetizing excuse me monetizing a hobby um it's something you do very well it's something very crafty uh, get paid for it if self-employment is something you've been thinking about toying with whatever the cards is highlighting it for you um if self-employment is if you're already self-employed and you're feeling like am i on the right path there it is a new exercise program put the time the effort into yourself it's pretty straight pretty straightforward uh it's spring summer so summer right anyway guys if this message resonated with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, request a personal reading. Take advantage of the $15 uh, three-question reading. It'll uh, give you some more insight into your personal energy. Okay? All right. So, thank you guys once again for tuning in. Uh, all of my information is below. Instagram, Instago. Everything is below. Thanks once again. Take care. And remember, Taurus, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. I'll see you in your June mid-monthlies, right? Okay. Take care. Bye.